Hello everyone and welcome to the Step Out Scenery's live stream today. I hope you can all hear me. Uh, my name is Martin and I'm the lead developer of the Step Out Scenery's uh, team. And today we will have a look at our new and upcoming SAM plugin or scenery animation manager. It's still in beta, but um, we will see some nice features of it. Um, Keep in mind, we will only see the user features today. Um, so if you're a developer, um, feel free to uh, watch this video as well, but I won't talk about how to integrate SAM into your um, custom scenery. Um, but um, yeah, we'll only have a look at the, the user features today. Okay. Um, so first of all, um, thanks for Threshold for uh, today being here um, as well in the live stream and uh, obviously for hosting all the information and furthermore the uh, support forum or so-called club in the future. Um, that's, I really appreciate that and um, yeah, stay tuned. Always look at their website or the Facebook page, please, for the newest information. Okay, let's get started. Um, the plugin is a global plugin which means it's an easy installation, only one-time installation. So um, when you download the, the SAM folder, you will have two files. Uh, the first one is the plugin itself, and um, that will be installed into your plugins uh, folder. Just explain 11 resources plugins, like every other plugin. Um, and then you have this uh, SAM folder, that's it. And there is a second file, uh, folder which will um, be installed into the custom scenery and that is the so-called SAM library. So the special library um, or the special thing about the library is it contains objects which are already pre-animated uh, like jetways, like hangars, um, wind turbines and so on. Um, and if you're a scenery developer and want to integrate SAM into your scenery without animating your own custom objects, then just use the library. And as a user, you should always install the library as it uh, contains all the objects and stuff. Mm. It's free, of, of course, the library, and we will update uh, it um, time to time. Okay. Mm. For demonstration purposes, we will have a look at the um, upcoming Genoa scenery by uh, Gaia Simulations converted by Stepout Sceneries. Um, just to show you some features, here we are at Genoa. And um, the plugin has two main features. Um, the first one are custom animations and the second one are um, is the jetway animation, everything which comes together with it. So the visual docking guidance system and uh, Marshall and all that stuff. Um, custom animations means the developer can basically animate anything he wants. Um, the Maybe in uh, the usual case in a scenery is, for example, the hangar door. If you have a hangar like, like this one, this um, here, uh, you have the SAM uh, directory and the interface. And uh, once you're inside a scenery, uh, which features SAM support, then you it will show up here. And you can see Gaia Simulations Genoa. And here you have two uh, checkboxes. And uh, they control the animation. There are animations which can be controlled by you as a user. But there are also uh, animations which are generally active, like uh, radars, rotating radars, or lights, or whatever. In this case, we have the hangar, and let's see what happens once we click it. It will open or close again. Those windows are um, Xplane 11 native. So now explain 10, unfortunately, explain 11 native, which means it is also 100% VR compatible, which is quite important to me because I only fly in VR, for example. And there's also another hangar over here, the Piaggio. Unfortunately, they just uh, got bankrupt, I heard, or well, some kind of, just one or two days ago. Uh, it's their head office here. Um, and those are the toggle animations. 
Then you can also have, um, as I said, animations which are generally active. You won't see it here, but those um, doors here at the fire station um, are randomly opened and closed. And now they're opened and maybe in 10 minutes they will be closed, we will see. Um, yeah, so you could, as I said, you could animate anything you like. Uh, for example, in the Berlin um, BER scenery, the upcoming one, we animated the completely custom approach light um, with rabbit lights and stuff. And um, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, right? Okay. So let's see what we do have here. The other more important or maybe in more interesting part to you as a user is the jetway animation. You can see here we're parked at the um, stand here. The jetway is connected. The docking guidance is, uh, yeah, partly disabled, only showing up the current time, which is working uh, when I change the time. Oh, okay, stand by. Um, the real time is activated. So now you can see when I change the time, it will move correctly. And get rid of this window. And the jetway is connected at the moment. So we are here um, in, um, yeah, not cold and dark, but the parking brake is set, engines are off, and um, yeah, lights are off. So in a parking position. Um, so how do we start now? Um, usually, the, we would do the following um, compared to other uh, plugins like the AutoGate plugin, for example. We would um, disable the parking brake. Okay, so parking brake is disengaged. And let's see what happens. Nothing. Okay, so why is nothing happen? Um, because we uh, took another approach of this automatic jetway connection and uh, deconnection. Mm. The parking brake is, uh, in our view, not the, the correct one. We used another um, trigger event, and this is the beacon light, or the anti-collision light in the 737. And let's see what happens. The, the parking brake is uh, off or on, doesn't matter, uh, depending on if we have chocks set or not. So um, as we are about to start the push pushback and the chocks has been removed, maybe we will engage it. The engine's is, engine is off and we will engage the uh, anti-collision light. And now you can see what happened. The jetway is moving away properly. So the beacon is the trigger. Let's wait for the jetway to end its animation, although it's already um, finished now the lights are off okay everything's fine I'm not sure if you can hear the sound of the simulator actually um, uh, hang on a second yeah not sure um, if you can hear the sound uh, however there is a jetway sound each jetway can have an individual sound which means we have, um, at the moment, we have three different sounds available for the developers. We can extend that later on if uh, someone is missing some crucial sound. Mm. And it's, uh, yeah, working, obviously. If you can hear it, you will see it once it's released. Okay, so we are um, here now with a disconnected jetway. And if we switch off the beacon again, then the Jetway will start to connect to the aircraft soon. Hopefully. There he goes. Okay, perfect. That's working great. Um, one thing about, I, I just looking at my, my list of things to say. Um, I just forgot about the custom animations. Um, people asked about uh, three, 3D people uh, walking around. Uh, if, if it could be possible to animate them, uh, like you know from maybe uh, P3D, um, some, some developers do that. And basically, yes, it would be possible. So um, Sam is, a, for the developer, Sam is the, the, the platform, the animation platform, the system which will uh, give them the, the tools and the, um, the code to program such an um, animation. However, 
um, as explained, still misses bone animations and much more important, the mesh deformation, which is really necessary for, for realistic human animations. Um, it's still very, very difficult. It's not because of SAM, um, it's because of the, the simulator not supporting those development techniques. Um, but once they are in, um, then SAM can be the, the platform, the base for those animations for sure. Okay, um, Jetways. All right, that worked. This is a special or whatever, not, not really a special one, but another Jetway, not that common because it's a fixed one. It's only moving forward and backward and up and down, not left and right. Okay, so it is obviously possible as you can see. And we will now switch to another scenery and let's maybe take another aircraft. I'll choose the A319, the Tulis one. And let's go to um, Zurich, for example. Um, yeah. Um, the, the scenery we're switching now is uh, Zurich by Aerosoft. Um, we will update the scenery with, with the same integration as soon as the SAM plugin has been released. I will uh, tell you when that will be later on. Um, but back to the beacon animation, uh, or the beacon trigger for the jetway animation. Well, we, we took the beacon for t mainly two reasons. The first one is the parking brake um, has some kind of a problem depending on the aircraft you use, because um, the, the parking brake is not always set when you're parked at the gate. For example, when the chocks are set, the parking brake is usually off, or it's not even powered anymore um, because of missing hydraulics, um, because the engine, uh, the aircraft is shut down or whatever. So it's kind of tricky to get that uh, work correctly with all, uh, all third-party aircrafts, for example. And it's unrealistic. I mean, there is no real, um, no real dependency between the, the parking brake and the jetway operation at all. But the beacon is much more important because the beacon light um, indicates the ground crew that the aircraft is in operation or will start the operation soon. That means once the beacon is rotating, nobody should be in the vicinity of the aircraft except the uh, ramp, man uh, ramp agent or the um, pushback truck, for example. Um, and that would be the, the, the latest indication for the jetway uh, driver to, to get away. Okay, so um, if the beacon is on, if the beacon is rotating, the, the jetway should not be connected. That's the reason why we choose it. Okay, mm. now we are at Zurich and you can see the uh, aircraft is parked, other jetway still working, great. Um, and we are here at the perfect parking spot. So we loaded the flight and the jetway is automatically connected. Um, let's do something, well, let's see if the animation is working. Um, external power is on, okay. Let's switch on the beacon and, well, that's quite fast. Okay, here goes the um, jetway. Okay. Mm. Great. Um, uh, ah, by the way, I will get back to your questions at the end. Sorry, um, I don't want to disturb my, um, my presentation by um, answering the questions, but I will get back to them for sure. No worries. Okay, so that worked. Let's see what happens when we start the en uh, with um, running engine and maybe let's see another. Let's take this one. Remember, we are still in beta, so let's see. Okay, so now the engines are running and the jetway is not connected, obviously, because the engines are running and the beacon is rotating. However, we are still at the optimum parking position, so let's see what happens if we move away a bit. Come on. Like. Ah. Pretty difficult, this. Like this, for example. Okay, you can see that the um, visual docking guidance system is indicating that we are right of the center line and seven meters to go to the perfect parking spot. However, let's see what happens if we shut down the engine uh, here and get the uh, beacon off. Okay, so disable. 
nothing happens, obviously, because the beacon is still rotating. Off. And here you can see the jetway is moving. So what's the special thing about that? Um, if you compare that to the Autogate uh, plugin, which is great, but quite old, um, that wouldn't have been possible. So you always had to park at the correct parking spot. With Sam, it actually doesn't matter where you park, as long as you're in the limits of the corresponding jetway. Okay, so if you're right of the center line, left of the center line, if you're too far away, um, it doesn't matter. The animation and the connection will work as long as possible, obviously. Okay, that, so this is pretty good. And it will also work um, if you have a different heading. So let's, the jetway is connected, let's change the heading. Let's see what happens. You see, I can turn the heading and the jetway is still connected. Okay. So that gives us the possibility to have a parking position with uh, two or two different parking positions served by the same jetway. Okay. You just have to configure the limits as a developer. Okay, you see, it's still connected. Of course, if I go out of the limits of the jetway, it will automatically disconnect. Okay. Great. Um, another thing. We had to create special configurations for those aircrafts. Um, for mainly two reasons. The first one is the door rotation angle. Uh, let's have the top down view like this. Okay. So most of the aircrafts of the modern aircrafts are narrowed to the front, the fuselage. Okay. And usually the front door is inside this narrowed part like here. So the jetway will always connect 90 degrees to the door location and a 90 degrees rotation angle. But if the door is in this uh, narrowed part, it will not have the same uh, direction like the aircraft heading, but the slightly different one. So the jetway is not connected 90 degrees to the, um, to the aircraft rotation, but to the door location. It's maybe a bit hard to see, but you can see that the jetway is not 100% um, aligned to the fuselage here. It's a bit angled into the door. And this is a value which is not included in the um, plane maker um, default door position, which you can set up. So we would have, uh, we created this special config file for each aircraft where this value is included. So it will always connect correctly. The second reason is it will, it's not only included for all aircrafts, but also for all doors. As you may have seen on the previous screenshots, we have multiple jetway connection to, for, for the big aircraft. Therefore, each uh, door has to be um, set up with the correct heading, with the correct position and all that stuff. And uh, therefore, we had to create those files. Um, the good thing for you is nine, close to 99% of all freeware and payware third-party aircraft as well as the native or the default explain aircraft are already supported and included in the download. So if you download the, the plugin, it will work straight away. You don't have to copy any file into the aircraft folder or whatever. It's a general um, config file, which is stored in the plugin folder itself. So you don't need to do anything. In case there's an aircraft which is not configured yet, then you could either create your own config file or just give us a call and we will integrate it with the next update. So every time we have a new aircraft, which um, is capable of using SAM, so mainly an airliner, then we will update the plugin as soon as we get the aircraft. Um, great, so you don't need to bother that. Let's see on my list. Okay, um, yeah, sensors. In real life, jetways have sensors to keep the jetway in the correct position. We simulate that as well. And for that, we will have a closer look. Oops, no, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, 
at the at the jetway connection. So in real life, if you if um, if you change the weight, for example, the aircraft will sink into the ground a bit um, or lift up like like a ship, for example, when loaded. And um, the sensor saves the uh, initial connection position and will always uh, keep the the same um, altitude um, compared to the initial um, initial connection point. Uh, when the aircraft is boarded or deboarded. This is an effect which can hardly be seen in real life, um, but it's still there, and you will probably not notice it in, in the usual um, usage of the plugin. However, I want to show you that it's working, actually. Um, just for demonstration purposes, I will um, change the weight excessively. Like this. And you can see the jet weight will always have the same position, so it's it's a dynamic connection, you see? Like this. <laughs> Although quite unrealistic, but it's working. Okay? As long as you're in the limits. Okay. Um, yeah. Good, that's it. All right, multiple chat ways. Yeah, I'm pretty um, happy about that feature that we have been able to integrate that into the, the, the initial release. Um, let's have the 777 uh, here. Let's see. So multiple doors um, are configured automatically um, in, the, in the aircrafts. Um, it can use basically, I think, up to eight jetways in theory. So uh, left forward door three, uh, so left forward one and two and three, uh, left back one, two, three, and left upper one and two, in case you use it for an A380 or 748 with an upper deck. And here you go. You can see two jetways are connected. And um, yeah, here you can, maybe you can see the difference of the rotate. Yeah, you can see pretty clear the, the difference uh, of the rotation angle. So this is straight um, at the, the fuselage center line, and this one is a bit angled. So that's what I was talking about before. And um, well, this one is pretty cold. Let's get up some power in here. And let's have the beacon. Yeah, it's moving. The jetways are moving away correctly. Okay, there's sometimes there are a bit of a mess of the animation. We're still in beta and the scenery has not been finished yet, so sometimes stuff happens like that. But we will try to fix that before. Um, yeah. We can try to switch to the um, A380 parking position. I'm not sure I don't have the A380 installed. There is basically no really good um, third-party aircraft. There's one from Peter Hager. Um, yeah, I won't comment that. Um, and there's a free one from Rivery. Um, both of them are in, in co configured correctly. Um, you can use them. Oh, okay, now I switched to the wrong aircraft, I guess. Mm. Yeah, what happens if I use an aircraft which is not configured correctly? Um, well, that <laughs> yeah, let's see like this. For example, okay, uh, well, the jetway won't be connected because there is no door location for this aircraft set up correctly. <laughs> um, well, okay. Uh, but let's get back to the 777 and see what happens. Um, there is uh, one thing about those big parking positions with multiple jetways, like, um, for example, in Amsterdam or in Vancouver. They have a special overwing jetways, so they are uh, going over the wing onto the back door. This is pretty special. Can be done with uh, Sam as well, but um, yeah, we don't have a scenery just yet, which is using it. Okay, so here you can see um, this is an overwing um, entry for the A380, but it's not connecting, and there's a graphic error. Um, it's not connecting. Why is that the case? 
because it's not in the limits. So it could be connected to maybe here to the overwing entry, maybe, but I don't think that it's going to be used. It could be um, connected to this door, maybe, to the overwing door here. But the problem is um, it is not, uh, well, the, the jetway, is, um, the, the altitude is not correct. So it cannot be angled downwards that much to connect to this jetway, yeah, to this door. So the jetway won't move. If we would choose the A380, then it would be connected correctly. No idea why one jetway is uh, disconnecting again, but um, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, there is another thing. Um, you see those automatic uh, connections all the time. You can also manually connect um, to those uh, doors. If you go to the interface, there's a setting. Uh, you can control the sound volume and you can uh, disable the automatic connection. Okay, what does that mean? Um, if you now open the, the um, scenery folder here, you will see all available jetways. Okay, all available jetways. Here you can see disconnect echo six, seven, left forward one. This one is the connected one. So I can also manually uh, disconnect the jetway. Okay. Um, all other jetways are great, and that that's because they are not in the correct. Uh, you are not in the correct limits of them. Okay. No idea why this one is not uh, working properly. Let's choose another. Maybe this one. Um, okay. Here we are. And let's see, here you can see both jetways are available. So connect um, left forward one and left forward two, both are available. The reason why you can connect them manually is um, there are a couple of freaks like me who want to um, have the most realistic approach to that. And sometimes, although you have uh, multiple jetways available at the parking position, you only want to use one. Maybe because your airline don't want to pay for the second one or the second one is out of order or whatever. So if you want to um, go that far, you can um, manually connect like one jetway only, if you like. Um, and in the list, obviously, only the available jetways will be displayed. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here at Zurich, we also, you might have noticed already, have uh, different animations. I already showed you the hangar doors, um, but where are we here? Um, you have also toggle animations, like we have those VFR helper objects here, which can be enabled and disabled in case you uh, want to see where the VFR entry points of the control zone of Zurich are. Um, and yeah, you could do a lot of different stuff here. Um, okay, so um, that's all about the features for the moment. As I said, we will do another live stream or maybe two live streams on how to integrate um, this the plugin into your scenery. Uh, two, probably two, because the one will um, include the tutorial for scenery developers to, uh, who want to use the library objects, so the pre-animated objects. They don't have to animate their objects on their own. They can simply use the library one. And the, the second one will be the um, live stream about how to really hardcore animate your own object and create a 100% custom jetway um, with Sam. Okay. Um, two things to say from me before we, uh, I'll get back to the questions. Um, the license. Um, the guys at Threshold already um, mentioned that. Um, the license will be free for all users and free for all freeware work. So for all freeware sceneries, SAM can be in integrated for free. Okay, 100% for free. Um, however, if you're a payware developer, um, there is a license required per scenery. Uh, price has not been determined yet. Um, but um, yeah, the, there is no difference in the versions. Okay, so it's the, the Payware version is not better than the, the freeware. It's exactly the same. It's just a license uh, fee. 
And for you as a user, it's pretty simple because you only install it once, the plugin once. And uh, as soon as you install a scenery which is uh, integrated to, into SAM, it will work automatically. So the scenery folder includes a SAM configuration file um, and the plugin will automatically recognize your scenery. So you as a user don't have to do anything for that. Um, Okay, can that run manually uh, next to? Uh, can that run next to the um, AutoGate plugin? Yes, it can. Sure, if uh, if you have a scenery which is only uh, working with the AutoGate plugin, sure, you can use it um, side by side. And yeah, what about the the download and and support and all that stuff? As I said before, um, we will or we already use um, Threshold Forum with a special club for all SAM related stuff. It has not um, been um, officially um, released yet, so you can't see it. But um, once the plugin is released, we will have our own uh, area where we have the downloads, where you can see the features again, where we will post tutorials, where you can ask questions and all that stuff. The reason why we do it with Threshold is because first, the guys are pretty nice. And the second one, um, this club offers a bunch of features for us as uh, f to manage to manage all that stuff. So um, feel free to register for free. Everything is for free. Um, you can download it there once it's released. Um, so when will that be? Um, in the beginning of December, hopefully. Um, just today, I found another crucial bug um, on the the explain eleven thirty. Uh, versus uh, 1126 um, stuff. So there's uh, there's a couple of things to do, but um, yeah, I hope to have the, the first release in, in the beginning of uh, December. Um, we, as I already uh, announced, we will um, update a bunch of Aerosoft series. So if you are a customer of Zurich scenery of this one, you will sure get the update for free, all for free. Um, we will also update Berlin Tegel um, and of course, our, all our new sceneries like Genoa, like Berlin, the BER airport will include SAM uh, by default. And I also had a chat with the so-called Mr. X about his Munich scenery. He already um, pointed out that he uh, tries to integrate the plugin uh, into Munich. Maybe not in the first release version. I'm not sure how far he is. But um, yeah, there are uh, sceneries to come and hopefully um, the freeware sceneries will be updated um, as soon as possible. Yeah, as we will release the plugin, don't expect the big bang because you can already install it, but uh, as long as you don't have any compatible scenery, you, you won't have um, any, any change, okay? So give, it, give the developers time to update the sceneries. And uh, I think in the beginning of next year, you will have uh, plenty of uh, opportunities to use the same plugin. Um, okay, that's it from me. So now I will have a look at the questions, guys. Okay, so. Yeah, free to use for payware developer. No, there's a license fee. I already told that. Uh, release date pricing is not um, yet uh, set up, and the release date is uh, beginning of December. The great thing of the jet where that connects the aircraft that things on top double, things on top that doubles and close. I think you mean the um, yeah. You mean this this elastic part over here, this one. Um, no, it's not possible at the moment. Um, the main reason for that is because we don't have mesh deformation. Mesh deformation means you can um, move parts out and uh, stretch uh, vertices um, to, 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 to any animation, basically. Um, without creating a completely um, separate object for this animation. So at the moment, you have to create an own object for each animation. And this is just too complicated and not really nice. It wouldn't look nice. So um, yeah, that's something which we will in implement as soon as um, mesh deformation and bone animations are available and explained. I know Orbex is pushing Laminar um, because they have a lot of those uh, 3D people. And um, yeah, uh, we hope to see that maybe in the next year. Um, the posi uh, does the Jetway position adapt to your position? Yes, we've seen that. Um, 
to work with any airport. Um, well, unfortunately, you have to manually integrate SAM into your scenery. It is damn easy. Okay, if you're a scenery developer, you can use the library objects, and it's I, I integrated those jetways here um, at this terminal at Zurich in maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and I used custom objects. Okay, um, it is really really easy, and that's what we were focusing on um, when creating this plugin. It's not it's not complicated, you know, and you can also um, maybe you can see it, those jetways have all different directions, um, different uh, angle, rotation angles by default at its initial position that can easily be set so it does not look repetitive. It's completely easy, but you, you as a developer has to in, uh, have to integrate it. There's um, no way around. Okay, and that would lead us to the second question. Maybe um, can that be used with the default explain um Jetway objects, no, it cannot be used. The reason is uh, Laminar um, uses a pretty special approach for those jetways um, because they are not real objects. They are so-called facades and um, they cannot be animated. Not yet. It's not possible. It's technically not possible. We would love to, but it's not possible. But what you can do is you can combine the, our library jetways with the um, with the default um, ones. So for example, you can use like this part of the jetway um, by the library, and you can uh, this this um, walkway, for example, can be used from from Mixplane um, default scenery for sure. Yeah, um, but you have to use our our jetway or create your own custom one. Um, animation of the rain, yeah, the rain cover. That was uh, the thing we were talking about before. Yeah, rain cover, hopefully. Yeah, so did Aerosoft already implement it for their old Zurich airport or did the airport modify the airport himself? Well, um, <laughs> actually, we are the... Uh, uh, we are the developers of the uh, of a lot of conversions for Aerosoft, and uh, therefore we converted this this entire scenery. It's an, it's um, created by the Aerosoft in-house development group, which is called Pad Labs. Um, back in two years ago, I think, or two years ago, the version two has been released, and we um, updated it, uh, or we converted it, and now um, it has been updated and will be available through the Explain Oric store and the Aerosoft store and all other partner stores um, soon. Sure. Uh, <laughs> again, okay. Um, okay, do jetways connect to aircraft like CRJ or CRJ1000 or 200? Yep. <laughs> um, well, the CRJ is a pretty interesting thing because the CRJ has um, its own uh, stair. So um, actually, there's no real jetway operation. I have seen a pretty a pretty interesting thing. Uh, at some airports, they use jetways. Um, they will lower the jetway as, as low as possible and then put a stair in front of the jetway so the people can walk through the jetway, go down the stairs onto the apron, and then just like five meters and then entering the airplane through the um, included uh, stair, in, in uh, the, the door stair. Um, this is something which can be uh, done by by uh, Sam as well. Yes, it can be. Well, not with the um, not yet with this uh, stair connected to the jetway. That would require a special uh, jetway object. But you obviously you can set the connection point um, of the door just like further away of the real door, so the jetway would move accordingly uh, near to the door, but not exactly at the right at the door. Um, not sure of if the CRJ one seven hundred or one thousand also have this door um, with the stair included, but um, yeah, so it is possible. Yes. Uh, okay, <laughs> where can I? Okay, um, yes, yeah, so I said you don't have to buy it; it it's free. Um, can AI aircraft use the jetways? Pretty interesting uh, question. No, they can't. Um, they can't yet. I always have to say yet because we have a lot of plans um, to do. Um, there are a lot of features we would like to integrate. 
it's a question of time and money always <laughs> unfortunately um the the more important part right now is the time uh, because we we spent like maybe six months now in the, into the development um and uh, we once the plugin is released we will try to have to have maybe one or two fixes if, if there's something to fix i don't hope so but nobody knows and um, then it's up to the developers to include it in their sceneries. And once that's done, um, I'm sure developers will and user will uh, ask for new features. And then we will think of what's the most important thing, uh, what can be integrate, integrated next, maybe service vehicles, maybe AI traffic. <sighs> I have no idea. There's a lot of things to do. Um, but not yet. AI traffic can't use the job as yet. Um, in the US, they use a bridge with the CRJs. Okay, yeah, if they use a, the bridge, that's fine. Um, it depends on the aircraft configuration. Um, it doesn't matter to Sam how you configure the, the aircraft, you know. Um, okay, so that's it for today, I think. Um, thanks for watching, for sure. And um, if you want to uh, um, know what we're doing, always check our Facebook page, uh, check out the Threshold uh, website and Facebook page and stuff. And um, yeah, feel free to join our next live stream um, for the developers if you are interested in that. It will be a lot more technically. This was maybe more a bit uh, feature demonstration and enjoying. Uh, but the other one will be pretty much uh, deep uh, technology stuff. Um, it's not uh, the the date has not been set yet. Uh, I will um, give everyone a call like uh, two or three days before. And uh, as I said, hopefully in December. Um, yeah, uh, night lighting um, is uh, yeah. Well, it's working for sure. Oh, come on. We have, where's the beacon light? Uh, like this, let's engage the beacon. Ooh, why is it not working? Okay, no idea what I messed up now. Ah, the manual connection, <laughs> ah, that was, um, yeah. So as you can see, the, the um, it is lit up in, at night and, and the lights are um, indicating the movement as well. So again, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you soon. This one will be recorded. If you uh, want to see some something else later, uh, we will put up uh, it at our um, YouTube um, channel within a couple of hours. Um, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. See you soon, guys.